Hiya, this is a second ooh, video for the, ooh, what is it now, second lesson maybe? <laughs> Not entirely certain to be honest. We're on example three anyway, so hopefully that will sort us out. So it says to sketch x minus b with an x squared plus 2x plus 3. Right, so if you think, if I expand it, I'm going to have a positive x cubed. So I know that the general shape will be a positive cubic. So let's think about the y-intercept then. So that's when x is 0. So if I put x is 0 in, into those bits, I've got like a 0 minus b. The x squared goes, the 2x goes, and I've just got a 3. So my intercept is minus 3b. And we're kind of happy we're dealing with coefficients, aren't we? With letters now. We don't mind that. Right, so let's look at the x-intercept. So the x-intercept. So that's when y is 0. So I've got x minus b. I've got x squared plus 2x plus 3 is 0. So that tells me that x minus b is 0. So x is b. Oops, put that in the wrong place. Just catch it on the board. I'll do it. I need to it, really. So x is b. And then I've got this one here, which is x squared plus 2x plus 3 is 0. Now, if I stick that into poly, it doesn't work. There's no roots on that bit. So I've kind of got that shape, but I'm thinking, okay, where's my um, my x-axis going to be? Is it going to be down here somewhere, or is it going to be up here somewhere? And I don't know, do I? So I'm just kind of making a guess. What I do know, though, is if b is positive and y is minus 3b, it's crossing on the negative bit, uh, and then it crosses at b as well, doesn't it? So I might have a graph. I'm going to I'm going to draw this different to how um, it's done in the pack because it could look like that there. So it could look like that. So I've got a b there for where it crosses on the x-axis and a minus three b there. So there's no reason why that can't work like that. So the next one is the question for you. So there's one there for you to have a go at. I'll reveal it so you can copy. Look at that. So if x is 0, it gets rid of them. So I've just got minus 7a. Yep, yeah, got that. And then if y is 0, oops, I've got the x plus a is 0. And the x squared minus 4x minus 7 is 0. But this time in poly, you get some values. So you can actually graph it. That'd be nice. That'll keep me going. Right, let's have a look at example 4 then. Before we finish this one. So it says, find the possible equation for a curve that passes the x-axis uh, at minus 2, 1 and 3. Right then. So... That could be x plus 2, that could be x minus 1, that could be x minus 3. So I think it could be x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 3. Now it might be a multiple of it, so it might be that I sneak a little a in front of it. Most people wouldn't bother, but you can do so if it goes through the point 0, 12, so when x is 0, I've got y is 12. So if you think on this, if x is 0, I've got 0 plus 2, I've got 0 minus 1, I've got 0 minus 3, with that a in front of it, and that's equal to the 12. So essentially I've subbed in 0 and 12. So that would give me uh, 6a is 12, so a must be 2. And we've kind of done stuff like that, haven't we, before? So the equation then now is 2 lots of.
It's a new pack, this. So it's like faffy and it's kind of like building your skills for other stuff. There's a challenge question on the other side. Um, you can have a go at it if you want. I'll show you the completed version. There. And then we've got some consolidation questions for the class. And I think, is that that one done? Yeah, that was one done. Funny little pack, Mark. It's just kind of like a skills thing. Right, I'm stopping now. Bye-bye.